If you have a natural curiosity, I think this is a great job because the things that you do from day to day, who knows what it can be. There's always a question and then you're trying to figure it out. Like So I think that's one of my main reasons why I ended up in science. just so varied and yeah challenging and you get to come up with new ideas and then you're going to find out the answer yourself. There are loads of opportunities in science at the moment, particularly in the area of food and health. That's absolutely exploding and we see that a lot in work. If you love science, but you're worried that you won't get a job in it or something, you shouldn't worry because there will be positions available. The skills that you learn are universal and, and they travel. An opportunity came up to do a PhD with jockeys, I mean, with the turf club, and then here I am. So I kind of fell into it, but now I don't want to leave. I would recruit for companies in the pharmaceutical sector, the medical device sector, biotechnology sector, clinical trials and food science. Um, and within that then there's, there's a vast array of different jobs. PhD student in the School of Health and Human Performance where I'm basically conducting a research project for the well for the next three to four years I'm in my third year of it. You're constantly on the go the whole time and it's so challenging and you're learning new things like and it's every day is different. So a typical day for me um, would usually be go in do a few experiments or I'll sit down and be reading research papers to try figure out what's the next step. Biomedical engineering is essentially the mechanics of the body and understanding how the body works, understanding the problems that can go wrong, so just like your car or anything else, how can you fix it? I'm um, supposed to gather an understanding of anatomy, physiology, tissue engineering and then using all that to build medical devices which will essentially save and improve lives. The investigating side. Um, I really like when you get an answer and then you, you look at the next part. It's brilliant when you finally work it out. When I was little I didn't understand what lightning was and then I realised that lightning has some scientific uh, background and then I was fascinated by it. I was fascinated by radios and, and the stars and then I bought a chemistry set. You know, I was, I was that kind of kid. I was really into it. And so for me, uh, transitioning into a career in science just meant continuing to play. It would have been biology, physics and applied maths that I did. Biology linked in great when I went to DCU because the whole time in sports science you're looking at physiology, it's one of the core subjects. We did a lot of home ec, which I know sounds strange considering I'm in science now, but a big part of the home ec uh, curriculum for Leaving Cert is like food technology. We made like honeycomb and there was a lot of exploding food, <laughs> so I, I really, really enjoyed that. The best um, subjects for students to study in secondary school, if they are interested in pursuing a career in science, would be would be honours maths, chemistry, biology, physics. Um, they're, they're the main subjects that we'd be looking for. I had a problem. I couldn't decide whether I liked chemistry or physics more. So uh, I went to my career guidance teacher, and, and he said, "Okay, look, they have this course in Trinity College. It's." 50-50, a little physics, a little chemistry. And so I took off to Trinity and uh, spent four years here and uh, graduated with uh, a degree in, in uh, material science, or, or NPCAM as it's now called. Nine out of ten times people have gone a crazy route to what they're doing. I mean, even, and even if you do biomedical engineering, there is so many other routes after it. A lot of my friends, while employed in biomedical in industry, some of them are now working as maths teachers. Um, a friend of mine has gone on to do medicine. Um, some of them are still in, are working in research labs. So no route defines you. you can, there's always another option and there's another way around. So don't get too stressed that making this key decision now is going to decide your life. I think studying science at the moment is, is really good timing. There's a lot of opportunities. I think a lot of the companies have come to Ireland because they know that the graduates in Ireland have a good work ethic. They're, they're very innovative, they're good team players, they want to succeed and do well, they have ambition and drive um, and that brings a lot to a company. 
If you can, try and get into a lab and see what it's really like because I think a lot of people have an idea that science is really hard and that they can't do it and it's something that boys do or something like that. And in actual fact, women are brilliant at science um, because they're patient and they are analytical and they think about things. For me, having that natural appetite, that natural curiosity, uh, made me become a natural scientist. And I think um, that's certainly something I would encourage my kids. <laughs>